church he went to. Check it. Check it. You sit here. There are a lot of things in the spirit bigger than the way you think. Oh, you are too normal and sitting there. I think life is so normal. That is why your wife, your life is still in a normalcy and it's not progressing. No. No. The oppressors, they don't want you to come up. They don't want you to come up. There are governmental countries that control the checkbook of African countries. They will stay up war and run away. After they destroy, do you know why they killed Gaddafi? Gaddafi wanted to establish United African Bank and said we should stop collecting loans from the outside and Africans should bring their money together so that when Ghana needs a loan, we take it. The moment they establish, they kill him. Some of you are sitting there, you talk pra, 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 because you don't listen to anything. Anybody, they kill Kwame Nkrumah for bringing United Africa. Because to make Africa strong, they eliminated him. They used Kotoka them to those guys, what do they know? They put him off. They still control. It is a threat for them to see us rise. Because if you are <laughs> anybody that pays you salary huh, and you have worked for them for years, particularly if you have stayed with them for years, they don't want you to come out. When I'm encouraging you to start praying for your own business, you are looking at me tail like Pope. Some of you enjoy wearing tie. Some of you are a thousand Ghana cities. Open car, who die upon the near my loan, near TTF, you pay. Look at the communication companies in Ghana. They don't even control them. American government has made it a law. Every communication gathered in America, every weekend calls are free because of the profit they make. Professor Mills said, only God can change this country. And if that is so, we are determined to let God change this country. We are going to pray until God change this country. And the time has come, the prayer will be so mad that if you don't live right, God will eliminate you. If you come to, when revival start breaking forth, if you're in the governmental position, you will steal money and take it back. Because the anointing will arrest you and give you sleepless night. The heart of the king is in the hands of God. But he will only turn it when people are praying. You sit down. You think we are just here to come and warm pews and, and warm the chair and go and come and fast and fast and do that. And do. I've, seen, I've seen countries, people start praying like this. Dr. Young Cho started praying like this 40 years ago. Today he's controlling government. He's controlling institutions. Some of the wealthiest people in, in Korea have been there. He's in his church. His church is in an island surrounded by water. Some of his church buildings are 11th and 15th story buildings standing there. One million congregation members. Nobody's thinking on anybody's word. If you are in Korea and you have a transport company, you are not part of the millionaires. You must have a certain wealth. Go and see tight card. Some of them pay tight in ATM. Some of them is a standing order. The church has university, has retreat centers, has all kind of prayer mountain. When you see their buses, he started in a tent contending with frogs. No microphone. So preaching and portrayal. Whoa, 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 whoa. Today it has become a household name. This is where God is taking us. Yeah. And don't sit here and think that you have no future in this thing. As you keep praying, you leave the resort for God. Just stand in righteousness, keep praying. The thing will come suddenly. You will not even be aware of it. Where we are going, you can never prosper by connection. You can't prosper with your two legs. A lot of the ladies sitting here, instead of losing their mind, they think their favor is in their two legs. Devil is a liar. They will use you and dump you and tell others that you are, you are cheap. Listen to your father, I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. Hallelujah. If you go to the contract and you want to hold your breast, don't worry. When he touch you, sit there and says, I'll come back tomorrow. Go and fast the next day and go there. And tell him that, Lord, as I get to this man, may that last spirit leave his mind. Let him take a pen and sign. I came for you to sign the paper. I didn't come for you to touch my breast. So most of the things that they make advances towards you, demons of lust has entered there. 
because demons can enter people and use them so last spirit has entered them and tried to think that your body must pay for the work no christ must pay for me for me to enjoy it's not my body Ma, 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 ma. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say political favor. Political. All of you are doing contracts and working with the government. You need political favor. You need it. You need it. They must call you in the castle and give you a position you don't deserve. Hallelujah. They must call you. Your boss must give you a position everybody says you don't deserve, but he has put you there. Who in the cabinet of Egypt think that Joseph deserves to be a prime minister? Your point is, oh, two, 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 two. Come on, let's talk. What do you think? We have to we have to impeach him. We have to do a lot of things. And those people were not, they were not there by democracy. They were monarchs. So when they speak, the Queen of England has a lot of power because you didn't vote him into power. So after Egypt spoke, all the people were there. I mean, one of the people that was not happy at all was Potiphar. Because Potiphar put him in prison. Now Joseph is coming, you have to stand up for him. The man you put in prison, you must give him a standing ovation. Because he's not the prime minister. You are under his control. So favor can lift you above people who used to command you. Oh, no, no, no. Only one person got what I said. And it's possible. It is possible for somebody here between now and next year by this time. Somebody who has looked down upon you and control you. May they see you come in and give you a standing ovation. This is Mr. Potiphar. And now, please, let's welcome the Prime Minister of the Republic of Egypt. Pa. Everybody has stood up. Because the king said that he's only on the throne. I could not depend on Joseph in But according to your word, shall Egypt be ruled. And shy not in front of this man. And Joseph is standing in the cabinet and saying, Potiphar, come here. You are the captain of the guard. I want the soldiers to be deployed into this place right now. Let them go and guide, caution. I need 200 soldiers and I'll do this in the next 10 minutes. Yes, sir. The man you put in prison, the story is about to tell. Ah! The psychological trauma. The Potiphar is remembering going to his bedroom and this guy is mobbing the floor. This guy is now standing with bodyguards and convoyed. And he's commanding Potiphar. And Potiphar is obeying. He's even lucky he didn't fire him from his post. For God's mercy, could I come and say, Potiphar, 24 hours, you must resign or you are fired. For God's mercy. And Joseph was a tough guy. He put his brother Simon in prison. Don't mess with that guy. When people have favor and you squeeze them and they get to the top, Jesus Christ. But don't be too wicked when you come up. Mercy. Because some of you will surely go up there. Hey, you are not sitting here for nothing. God is preparing you for something. I say God is preparing you for something. Some of the things I'm preaching and you are hearing, God is preparing you for things. You will stand. I was thinking about things. The Lord told me, Prophet, I must finish his work. All the kanker in your midst, and all the gods of all the president, he is the one who swept them out of Ghana. That is the assignment he has to do. He must just raise a new altar for Ghana before he dies. Yeah. It is becoming difficult for them now to consult. When they consult, they get exposed. Every every marabouts they bring here, it is all over the media. The first time they can sneak and come. Professor Amit has established a new altar. God used him to do that. He is the only president since Kwame Nkrumah and all the British who came without sending the, a, a demonic God. He opened the God of heaven and sweep up all the rest of the gods and raise a new altar. That is why everybody is running to Ghana. All Ghana need now is proper leadership. And that's why you must pray for all your president. It doesn't matter which party you belong to. This has nothing to do with party. It has to do with destinies. Yeah. High President Obama giving a speech and, and instructing people and encouraging people to come to Africa and say they should invest in Ghana. And he said something that brought me, say, all Ghana needs is to do roles and open the country. 
That's all. He said, that's all Ghana need. He said, they should do roads and open the country. And Mandiris Mota Milonia said the same thing. He said, all Ghana needs that the country must be open. What do you mean by opening country? So if airport must be built at Plam Plam, once you build the airport there, you have opened the country to that side. And prosperity begin to spread. Hallelujah. It begin to spread. And it begin to die. Me sitting here, tiny, sometimes with the eye of my spirit, I just know exactly what presidents can do. And things will change. I just know it by the Holy Ghost. I know it. I know it by the spirit. I know it. I know that this thing must be here. I remember when they were building the Jubilee, when they were build, building the, the Flaster at the presidential palace, I was walking with my wife and I was sitting here saying, this thing is wrong. It must not be built here. Where they are building this thing is wrong. It has to be built outside the country so that the country will be open to that side. Whatever the president is living, people automatically come and live around there. Then the country is open. We are squeezing the country. It means that we are becoming a big fish in a small pond. Think about it. Hallelujah. All the presidents in the Bible that do well, they are prophets by their side. All of them. 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 Every, Uzziah. Uzziah, the Bible said that. He built engines because he enjoyed a prophetic helping hand. A prophet is God's representative to his people. They pray. Most of them are surrounded by false prophets because of what they will eat. And it's a major danger for politicians to know that you are running for what you, you need. Do you know Kwame Nkrumah was a Christian? Do you know Kwame Nkrumah was, was going to church? Kwame Nkrumah came to the pastors and put them together. Pray and tell us what we must do. And they started saying, bring money. And he went to Kankan Yami. Assemblies of God pastors, as, uh, apostle, he came to them, pray and show me what we have to do about this. And the pastors are fighting on small, small money. He left them and said, these people are useless and went to Kankan Yami. So when the prophets fail, demons will take over. You think what you are doing here is a joke. Look at all the revenue that came from Tema. Look at the way the devil has sat on Tema. Look at the way the devil has sat on here. Spanding beer bars and massive immorality. Most of the revenue, when they see that all things are not going on well, they put their, their hope in the, in the harbor. Go and clear a car right now and see how much you pay. It must come from there. No problem. Because the sea is one of the things God gave it to us. The first thing God gave us dominion was the fishes of the sea. One day I'll preach you that message. The first thing God gave man dominion was the fishes of the sea. One day I'll preach to you why he gave us dominion over the fishes of the sea. There is something about the sea that must be a blessing to man. If you don't also handle the sea well, marine spirit will take over. I am preaching like a prophet of God. Don't sit here and cross your leg. This thing is bigger than you want a car and want a husband. You, destinies are connected to you. You must be impactful. You must be impacted to be impactful. God must impact you to go and impact others. Destinies are connected. You are a caretaker of pastors that must do well. Men of God. That is why I'm so content. I'm so content. I remember when Professor Mills was around. God is my eternal witness. He seek for me more than five times through pastors. I didn't go. I prayed God say, it's not time for you to be connected to prophet, to, to, to politicians. He called prophet I know it's my meeting and say, the president says I should bring you. I didn't go. Other men of God, I didn't go. Because I don't just drink up, jump and go to places. I was fast. The Lord said, Lord, should I go? He said, don't even dare it. There was nothing wrong there. He said, I don't want you to be exposed before your time. And when you get around him, you attract too much enviness. Stay in your secret. I am training you in the wilderness. Your time to come to the palace is not yet. Stay there. Woe unto you if you expose yourself before your time. You have no God's defense. I'm not interested in some things. <laughs> I enjoy leading prayer and fasting like this so in obscurity. We don't do adverts. We don't do nothing. Since we came, we have never done any advert. People one time put things in their Facebook, whatever, whatever, whatever. They say Facebook, Facebook, you grab me. They say I have a lot of friends. Okay, I know I have a lot of friends, something, but I've never chatted with anybody. There's nobody on them. When they ask my wife, what is chat? Because chat, they say it didn't come up. But my wife says, somebody send you something. But I know there's a chat and I send it, send it. What is the meaning of that? You have 10. I have never communicated with anybody on Facebook once in my life. 
not once, not even my wife. Ah, the thing you do, okay, hey, I'm here, hey, I have never done it once. I don't have time. That, that 10 minutes, I must fast and pray. I should be in prayer. I don't have time. You see, I am always in two in the spirit. I don't stay in the presence of God and this natural way. A lot of pastors have been caught up by Facebook that they don't even pray. Now, don't, let me tell you the demonic aspect of that thing. It can arrest your attention and take you from God. You can sit on your computer and now the devil has made it such a way that not just computer, your phone can do it. So, you see the way when you wake up, the first thing you touch is your phone. Yeah, listen, when your phone leaves you as if half of your life is gone. Addiction. Hey, I'm in church. No, I but hey, pray for me. Hey, I love you. Oh, don't love me. Let's say close church before you love me. All kinds of stupid things. Even in church, they are loving you. So the moment they send you, I love you, God says, I hate you. Because in church, you are not you, are, you have not even told God I love you, but today you have told your fiance ten times, send it. Because all the communication things, eh, they are all good. But if you don't manage them well, they take you out of God. They are all destructive weapons. You will not be so you one real house on a pa. That's all bombire. And Papa Crown to me that Jim or Papa. Who started so bombire? I'm not checking phone. Let's phone it down. Okay, okay. No be sending me say, What's up? Hey, what's up? What's going on this morning? Oh, but my for Abraham. Oh, bombire. That's all buttons and so. Oh, what for phone? My phone. Oh, buttons. Oh, hey, you phone, mommy. Mm hmm. That's all buttons. Oh, now handle the motion. The boy. I'm in prayer. I love you. I'll see you after prayer. No, no, I reply. But now, I'm in prayer. I love you. I'll see you after prayer. No, I'm in now, I'm a very observant about things. I know how the devil uses you. Because I watch people handle them. Okay, no, I send you, but it's very agent. Please, can you talk to me? Handle them. Mo, 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 God look at you, he knows you are not serious. Because you see, anything that can destroy your attention from God, God knows you have put more value on that thing than him. Yes. So I have never got my phone closer to me when I'm praying. Never. Never in my life. Never. Not in church or devotion. Never. Anytime I come and hand my phone to my head, camp, unless I close it before I take it. Never. No call can be important than my communication with God. Never. Who on earth? Dr. Young Kicho, God warned him. A deep voice from heaven. He became so powerful that sometimes, whilst he's in prayer, the president of Korea will call him. And then he'll cut the prayer and then say, Mr. President, uh, what's going on? And he said, yeah, Joe, I want to speak to you about some issues. And one day God told him, any time you are talking to me and you go and speak to that president, don't come back to me again. He is a jealous God. You are not serious. This is what we don't teach this generation walking around and and the communication people are telling you about technology and technology so that they can get your money they can get your money ah, and they can get your money and they are making rich do you know how much M A mtn make one million dollars every one minute think about it on your money and they were doing statistics and say the communication people make more money in africa than anywhere in the world number one we don't like testing number two because of Africa interrelated, sometimes I call my mother. That ma, it's a long time. My mother is saying, "I'm here to so when I say the me watch you, my mother feel. But you now want to say me who ye? Me to come and change our family channel. One to have a person on Okasa. Yeah, the phone number anti. Eh, na 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 to say, k k k k. I want to come and so I know a person on Okasa. Yeah, that man. K k k k. And I also have no way. I know so free. I pay job. I know so I also who watch it. So by the time I finish, empty. Tigo. Has taken all my money because in Abruche it is very difficult for somebody to even take somebody's phone to hear call. It is not normal. The America nobody will do that. By a hand, by the time we call, when we are casa, when we are casa, we are casa. Ah, we are upon channel crowd. Then upon channel Allah so to bring na yem kuno. Wow, ne ba ne yebe o de teni su me.
then you are there. So you are you are listening to even the cry of a goat at the expense of your life. So they make a lot of money. They make a lot of money. And you have brought it to church. And I'm telling you the truth. Me, I will continue to tell you the truth. Because if you don't take it, the devil will steal your destiny. You must be able to you must be able to pray and shut up your phone. You must be able to leave your phone in a car and come to church and close back. No call can be compared to what God will give you. That's what I'm preaching about favor. Favor. Phones has caused you to commit adultery more than anything else. Phones has caused you to commit fornication more than anything else. Some of you have used your body to get work here too. I-44, no crown. A girl was doing business with somebody. This is a true girl. Very powerful Christian. Very powerful SU lady. Stay in Christ. He was doing papers with somebody. And the person last day to go and say, unless I sleep with you. You see, we'll always be tested. At that time, you have to stand by God and say, okay, if I don't even get the papers for Christ's sake. He gave his body to the guy to sleep with him. He got the paper. When they say he was holding the green card and he heard a voice speak from the green card that you use your body to get this. He said, I am Jesus, you are looking at me. You, you, you sacrifice me for a common green card, which I can give you more than. He was holding the car like this. He dropped it in tears. He said, I heard it audible. You have sacrificed me for a green card. Some of you do it. No, I can say, no, don't, don't put dog in that corner. Man, yes, I'm saying, who knew that and Conan, I mean, and can't say, Yaku Pontias here, and then Yaman Kwan and I will cry. The dealings of God with us are different. There are people here who sin. God will not deal with them in a certain way, but you want to do it the way God will come after you. Because a lot of people, they sin, God doesn't mind them. God has no great future for them. But if God has a major future for you, He will never let you go free. You will hammer you in a way that you won't dare that mistake again. The Lord told me, say, when you make a mistake, son, I will punish you in a way that next time you even won't want to smell it. So if you do it and God doesn't punish you, you have no future. Because them that the Lord loves, he chastises. So if you are not being chastised, you are illegitimate. Bastard. Spiritual child. God is not correcting you, you are in trouble. Some of you should thank God that when you come, I'll preach a little holiness for you to hear. It's a sign that God still loves you. He dragged you here to come and listen to what I'm preaching about. Don't take things for granted. You will need favor for where you are going. Can you, do, will you let this favor work for you? We are starting this fasting with divine favor. Tomorrow, write one thing. And I promise you, I'm taking it to Israel. And I'll put it in man, in the, in the holy world. Lord, let this be a covenant. I stand here as a servant to lead these people. I have traveled all the way, thousands of miles to bring this to the holy world. The prosperity of the Jews, let these people receive impartation. Whatever you write on paper, I promise you, you will see it in 2014. Rise to your feet. Hmm. Communication centers. Oh my dad, I am so phony. Oh my, back home. I say iPhone five. Oh my, iPhone five X, iPhone five Z. Oh, but far the difference be a name. Now he be fear. Oh, be to back up which I say Nokia. I say the notebook. I have the notebook three. Nobody brought another another one. I say notebook. B B B B B. New one here there. Now. And the other fear is a galaxy notebook. No my another one. I know a threat saying notebook train. And I'm the other. Difference be a name. No more Jessica. They are addicted to the Kiri Komuni Akoto. And then the competition. Okay, my uncle said, what do we call it? My uncle said, brother, we cry iPhone 4. I said, me Ben and I'm saying, we call iPhone 5. Now, my uncle said, hey, I like your phone. Hey, 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 where are your soft touch? You're doing retreat retreat, you know. Hey, quick, 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 quick. Bishop Bernard phone, you soon knock your be. Have you seen that phone? Ha! Knock your potty be no. Also, my phone be your ass on pet. Bishop Bernard, I don't know where you should say. When you both phone you swap, what do you mean? What do you mean? I'm going to say, that is only phone he likes. He said, I refuse to be caught up by this people's their money tricks. Who can iPhone 5? Who may not get friends this year? 
iPhone. They see they cry the iPhone 5 crash. You see, if you don't take a there are some things now. There was a time I was praying, Lord, give me car, give me phone. Today, those things, if I were to live in sin to get those things now, now I don't do them anything. I am always giving phones out. So that I tell my wife, take the phones and share it to your sons and daughters. The people around us, we just give them phones. What somebody traveled and bought me seven phones. Three iPhone, you say uh, 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 something, something, three. Uh, Samsung 4, Samsung 3, notebook.